Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with our second uh, topic. Well, uh, today we're speaking about uh, the uh, Algeria who won the African Super uh, Cup after defeating uh, uh, the uh, Egyptian team Al Ahli with a clean uh, goal in uh, the Saudi city of uh, Taif, uh, depriving uh, Al Ahli of a historic uh, achievement. To shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this phone with our dear guest, Mr. Uh, Mohammed uh, Adel. The uh, uh, sports analyst. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Well, uh, sir, we'd like to know uh, what were was uh, the reasons be behind the loss of the uh, Ahli uh, team, and uh, 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 can we say that one of the reasons uh, is that the uh, Ahli uh, coach Marcel Kohler uh, was too fasty in order to bring in new players like Rida Slim and uh, Imam Ashour. Well, uh, about putting uh, the new players in the main squad, mm. like Red Slim and Imam Ashur, uh, we can say that there was uh, uh, some days or some weeks that Ali was uh, in, uh, be, be, being ready for the new season in Austria. Uh, he saw the players. Uh, he played uh, twice, uh, two friendly games one in Austria and the other one versus Palai al in Egypt. Uh, he saw the perf performances of the players, so he put the main squad as per the performance of the players before the uh, African Super Cup. But, of course, putting new players in uh, a main game and a very important game like, uh, what, uh, like yesterday's game, it should uh, have some uh, differences because of the differences of the players' qualities of Imam Ashur and Redos team, although Redos team in specific did a good uh, first half uh, versus Etihad uh, al or Osma, the Algerian uh, team. Uh, Imam Ashur not that ready for uh, the game, or, uh, especially he came from a big injury uh, for three or four months. He didn't uh, play, he was injured. Uh, I believe he got ready for the new season in Austria, same as the, uh, all the players of the Ahli team. But uh, we saw the performance yesterday of the players. They began the game as they won the game. Uh, they didn't respect the Algerian team as it should be. Uh, on the other side, of course, uh, any any team will respect uh, Al Ahli team because of that. I believe one of the main reasons behind uh, Al Ahli loss yesterday was was the uh, being not that respectful uh, for the other team. As we all know, that Hadal Asama was in the 12 uh, in the rank number 12 in the Algerian league uh, last year, but. On the other side, they are the Confederation Cup uh, title holders. Being not respectful that much to a team uh, in front of you uh, lead to that uh, loss happened yesterday. Al Ali had the, the ball most of the time. They had the possession most of the time, but with no uh, results, no uh, dangerous uh, chances, or, uh, I believe, except one uh, chance from Redoslin, the new player. But uh, all of that, I possess the, the ball. I have the ball, but I have no chances. I didn't respect the team as much uh, as I should uh, do. So congratulations to it. Had last time and hard luck for the Ahli for what happened yesterday. Yes, uh, Mr. Adil, who was the hero of uh, the match uh, uh, of the Al Ahli uh, team? In your well, point uh, of view? I believe Mohammed Al Shinawi was mm. the best player uh, for Al Ahli yesterday because he saved many chances from Tahad Al Asim yesterday, yes. uh, especially in the first half. Uh, many dangerous chances from the counter attacks from Tahad Al Asim. Mohamed al in the second, uh, second minute, uh, he saved his goal from a, an early goal. Uh, throughout the first half, many chances by Tahad uh, al was being saved by Mohamed al I believe he was the most 
the best player yesterday for the Ali as he said many chances for the Hadla Asma. Yes, uh, so uh, Mr. Adel, uh, we saw a very strong defense uh, from the uh, Algerian team yesterday. Uh, and uh, uh, yet uh, also uh, um, uh, when the Al-Ahli team had the chance uh, to uh, make a goal, they wasted several uh, chances. So uh, how did you see this uh, picture? Well, uh, I, I saw some friendly uh, games for Tahad al before uh, the African Super Cup team, uh, Super Cup game. Uh, well, it was one of the problems that the defense line of Ittihad al was not that good and rigid. But uh, when we, uh, or when I watched the friendly games, they played five friendly games before the African Super Cup game. Uh, the defense line became more rigid. They had, uh, uh, they get a player uh, on loan called Hussein Dehiri, he is a good uh, center back. He gave them the uh, quality, the high quality of uh, being a good uh, defensive line. Zinedine uh, Belaid and Adam Alaylat, they are uh, excellent uh, center backs. They are doing good. And in the offensive uh, status, they, ha they have dangerous chances whether uh, by the uh, free kicks and corner kicks, they have the ability to get and convert the, uh, these free kicks uh, to goals uh, by uh, pushing by head. Uh, so the uh, defense line, the defensive line of Tahad al was doing good. El Ahli played as they want to play. The Ahli de uh, depended on the long passes and uh, the long uh, balls, they are uh, proficient and they are very uh, professional in getting these long balls. So El Ahli played by the way they prefer to be played uh, against. El Ahli played yes. as Tahad Al-Asima wants to play. Played long balls in the uh, last 30 minutes of the game and the long balls is the easiest way to get the ball by the defensive line. Yes, uh, Mr. Adel, uh, will the will, uh, Ahli uh, team be affected by uh, the result, uh, uh, this result in this uh, uh, last uh, 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 of yesterday's uh, uh, match? Will, are they, the Ahli team are going to be affected by this result in the new African Championship? Well, uh, having a, a good uh, start for the season will affect positively for any, play, any player and any club. Being defeated yesterday, I believe it will affect, but for a short term, because it, El Ahli is one of the biggest names. They have many uh, tournaments and championships to play. They will begin the Egyptian Premier League next Tuesday versus Al Masri. They have the African Champions League. They have the uh, African Football League or the Super League uh, will play uh, next October, inshallah. Uh, and they will begin the African Champions League at the end of September. So I believe it will affect, by, but for two or three days, and they will uh, refresh themselves so as to begin uh, to have a new start for the new season. Yes, uh, this brings us to the, a very important point, which is uh, uh, what's your advice for the Ahli uh, team in the uh, coming uh, period, especially during the training uh, and the plans that they are, uh, should uh, do during the match or their performance, I mean? Yes, absolutely, yes. Uh, Ahli, a, a big name in Africa, a big name in the Middle East. They should refresh themselves. Uh, being defeated, it's one of the, uh, uh, of the probabilities in any football game. So it's not the end of the world because we are, in the st we are starting uh, a new season. And uh, we, we, should, uh, we can say the same for any defeated uh, uh, club. We saw Manchester City in the beginning of the season. They got defeated by Arsenal in the Community Shield game. But nowadays they are... Uh, being in the top of, on the top of the English Premier League table, 
with uh, 12 points for uh, uh, win games, uh, and they got the uh, European Super Cup versus Sevilla. So uh, the beginning uh, or the start of the new season should not affect the big uh, names or the big clubs uh, more than it should be. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you uh, for your valuable information. Mr. Mohammed uh, Adil, the sports uh, uh, critic, uh, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Well, uh, with this, uh, my dear viewers, uh, we come to the end uh, of this episode of The Breakfast Show. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.